Hello, this is Thomas, K4SWL. If you're new here, I like to do real-time, real-life amateur radio field activation videos. Today I'm doing something just a little bit different right before I start an activation here at the uh, Table Rock Fish Hatchery. Um, I wanted to show uh, my uh, pack that I use for the um, Discovery TX500. Uh, I put this pack together and it's sort of one of my field kits and uh, someone had asked me about it, but I like showing these things. I did a... Um, a short video recently about uh, a kit I put into my GORUCK GR1. So I thought I'd try to go through this today, and I don't have my action camera with me today, so I don't have that nice wide angle. I'm hoping I can make this uh, work out nicely um, with what I have here. Here we go. So we'll give this a go. Anyway, this is a Redox um, micromanager, which is a pack that um, made by Redox in Billings, Montana. And if you know me, you know I love this company. They're just one of my favorite pack companies. And uh, very, very early on, I actually um, helped evaluate and uh, influence the design of this slightly uh, with the uh, uh, with Redox because uh, they knew that this may be a good radio kit bag. Um, and uh, it's really kind of a little EDC pack, uh, but it's great. And I'll kind of show you some of the stuff inside of it as I go through it. But I bought this one specifically to be used with the TX500. I bought a black one. Um, and, uh, but these come in a whole bunch of different colors. And I already have two other micromanagers. One's kind of in an olive color, and the other one I bought for my wife, which is a red one. Um, and they're really cool. But uh, anyway, I love this bag, and it works perfectly for the TX500. And I'll show you how I have it packed out now. So first of all, what I like about Red Ox bags are these zippers. These um, Vizlon zippers are fantastic because um, when you use them, they will not... Um, and sort of when you're carrying them around and stuff, these zippers will not back out on their own. They kind of lock in as they move forward. In fact, you can't push it. You can't even push that one forward. They kind of lock in place. They're also easy to repair in the field. Though I've never had to do that. Um, they've always worked beautifully. They're huge. I think they're number 10. I may be mistaken about that. Um, but I like these. They unzip and zip really, really easily. Um, there's an exterior pocket. I don't use this a whole lot, but it's pleated, so you can actually stick stuff in there if you want to. I'd probably put a map in there or something. Um, the uh, back has a uh, nice big slip-in pocket as well. You could put your logs in or something. I don't do that for how I do it, uh, but um, you could use those pack You could use those for whatever you want to. Um, they have these really beefy uh, connections on the side, um, and this claw strap came with mine. Uh, when I ordered it. Um, Redox stuff's on the pricey end of uh, packs. These are made in the United States uh, with U.S. manufacturing and parts and everything. Um, so uh, you're paying for that when you buy this, but they're guaranteed for life no matter what. If a train runs over this, they will repair it or replace it for lifetime. Uh, which is the reason why when you see these pop up on eBay, any kind of Red Ox gear, they go for a premium. Uh, used, they're still worth quite a lot of money because Red Ox will still honor, to, honor the warranty even if you didn't purchase it originally. Uh, so anyway, here's what's inside. And here's another thing I like about this bag, is the zippers come all the way down the sides so that the bag can open up really fully. I think this pack, I'm, I'm out here with no internet service and I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it's around 130 or 140 uh, US dollars. So not not cheap, but I like buying quality packs. So inside I've got this. This is kind of my main um, accessory pack inside, which is a Tom Ben um, large uh, travel tray. That's what they call it. And you've seen me use these before, probably in other videos. I love these. They fold down like this if you want them to. These are great when you're traveling because you can... They fold up really small in your pack, like your travel bag or whatever. And uh, you take it to your hotel room and you throw your keys, your knife, your wallet, whatever you've got, your uh, cell phone. You throw them in here and that way when you're looking for stuff, right, when you're packing up, they're all in one place. And in fact, if you have to rush out because you're running late for your flight, you can just kind of pull that up like that, zip it up, and throw it in a throw it in a pack really quickly. And I like these. And these are maybe $25 or so through Tom Ben. Tom Ben also makes their stuff in the United States, um, in Washington State. And uh, I love their gear as well. 
This one's made of ballistic nylon, I believe, and I like this because it opens and closes really easily. Inside, I've got a Pactana Infed Halfwave, which kind of lives with my TX500, though I'm not going to be using this at the uh, activation I'm at right now, but this is the Pactana Infed Halfwave. I've got my little 3 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from BioInno. I've got the uh, speaker mic, which is important with the TX500, the power cord, of course, and this has these GX12 connectors on them, so uh, you need to make sure you've got your TX500 kit with you. Um, I've got this um, CW Morse paddle. This one lives with the TX500 now. This was very kindly sent to me by one of our um, subscribers, uh, Ted Mac, and uh, I love this. <clears throat> and it, I just think it looks good with the TX500, <laughs> that's the reason I keep it in there. And of course I've got the little extension here to make it fit the GX12 connector. This is maybe 12 feet of RG316 with BNCs on the end. I had these made up by um, ABR Industries, uh, which is one of my favorite cable manufacturers here in the US. Um, they did a great job and I love RG316 for QRPHF stuff, this is wonderful stuff. Here is... This is like a, an extra accessory thing that comes with the TX500 that has both headphones out and um, a microphone out, um, along with a PTT switch. I don't really use this, to be honest, but I keep it in the pack in case I do need it. I normally actually keep the Elecraft T1 antenna tuner in this too. I don't have it in here now, uh, but I carry a spare 9 volt battery in here for that reason. Today I'm using a resonant antenna, and in fact, the infed half wave is resonant. But I still like to carry an ATU with me because if I ever want to go off of a resonant band, I can usually make the T1 match any of those things, which is great. And then here's just like a spare CW cable, a cable tie, and that's pretty much it, actually. That's everything I need to get going um, in one little pack here. I'll put all these things back up in no particular order. That's what I like about this pack, too, is you can just kind of toss it in here and cinch it up and you're done. Next, I have my Arborist throw line. This is the um, sort of small bag from Weaver, um, and it fits in here just fine. And I like it. It has a little, is it a 10 or 12 ounce weight? I always forget. It's on the lighter side of things. I don't think I need a, yeah, it's a 12 ounce weight. They make a 16 ounce weight, I think it's not really needed. Um, for what I do, I find 12 works really well. I could probably get away with 10, and even smaller. Here's my uh, Write and Rain pack I've thrown in here because it, it has my logging stuff in it, my uh, pencil and my logging pads. Um, and then a Write and Rain pad in case it is raining or something. Uh, in fact, that's the great thing about the TX500 is it's weatherproof, so it's one of the radios I'll take out when it's questionable weather-wise. But today, actually, it's gorgeous weather. And then inside this interior pocket here is where I keep the TX500. And it fits in there beautifully, very, very easily. And I like this pocket because it has a uh, snap on top. It's padded on both sides, and it has sort of a false bottom, so even if I slam this pack down, the TX500 is never going to hit uh, the floor uh, the way this is designed. I really like it, um, and this keeps it inside, though. It fits in there just perfectly. Like when I put it in here, it fits in there like that. There's, there's room to spare. I think this will hold it even when the TX500 comes out with their attachable battery pack. I think it's still going to fit in this pocket just fine. And you can see inside the, the interior is bright red, and I love that because um, it makes it easy to find things in the bottom of the pack. So if, if something falls down in the pack, I'm going to see it in the floor of the pack or wherever in here. And so there are pocket, there are places in here for um, putting pads and things. So I could actually dispense with my separate pad, but I don't do that for logging. But I could keep a logging pad in here and pencils. Um, on this side, there's yet another slip pocket in here. It's padded on this side. Um, and it has sort of a false bottom going in there, um, you know, to keep it off the floor, but it's not padded on this side. Um, and then you have a, a zippered pocket inside that you can put things. I've used this as an EDC pack before, and my other green one I've used, my olive one I've used for my KX3 
2 in fact I use that for my KX2 pack almost exclusively during Parks on the Air, National Parks on the Air program in 2016, and it worked beautifully. It was always packed up, ready to go. So that's the uh, Redox Micromanager and my TX500 pack. Um, like I said, I'm a bit of a pack geek, so um, I'm willing to pay for really good quality packs. This will last my lifetime. I'll be able to pass it on to my kids. Um, <laughs> hopefully the radio will too. Um, but anyway, that's just a quick overview of what I keep in here. Um, if you've got a TX500, uh, Discovery TX500 packed away, I'd love to see what you've done with yours. Um, so consider sharing it. Um, uh, you can send me an email at uh, k4swl at qrp.com. I'd love to post some photos or a video or whatever you've got uh, showing your kits. I love sharing these things, showing how people pack out their gear. Uh, but this really makes for a very, very complete kit, even with the throw line. Now, this throw line, I've actually put my antenna in the tree already, and this is the MFJ infed half wave that I've got going right now with a 50-foot uh, cable. So none of that was in this pack, but this is totally self-contained, so I could take this and very easily hop on the air, have everything I need and more um, in here. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the uh, micromanager pack with the Discovery TX500. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and um, thank you very much, 7-3s.